John here again. So, as you can see, this wood is just getting tore up in the snowmobile trailer from studs. I didn't used to, uh, th this side was, never had a stud mat. It was just, because uh, the one snowmobile that was always, always here never had studs originally. And uh, now, as you can see, the snowmobile that goes in here now is studded and it's just wreaking havoc, obviously. This trailer is old, it's uh, 05, so I should technically replace the wood, but. I got other issues, as you can see. It's pretty much band-aided together. This uh, this trailer fell off the road, <laughs> so uh, the front got biffed. I popcorned it back together. I got to do a little better job. It's holding up, but there's some uh, seams. But anyway, so I don't want to spend a lot of money putting wood down. And uh, I mean, it's still it's still a decent trailer. It's an 05. It's 2017. What's that? 42 years old. So it is got. Uh, little bit of life left but what I've been doing because uh, I replaced my track so I'm thinking this yeah this stud mat was on this side and that stud mat is that's from 05 when I bought this trailer I put that down and there's some holes way up there uh, you know when you're backing it off and that was right about that location you could see the uh, the outline of uh, you know the where it was so this falls a little short, so I'm going to flip this over, right? Whoop. I'm going to do uh, one of these on the other side here. Flip this over, get some new material to work with. I'll cut a little bit of it off just to, so it fills in that piece. So when you put it in reverse. But I think this will do the trick as far as, you know, because even with the stud mat, it did the trick, but you still could, you know, had nothing to grab onto if you, if you hit the throttle, it would spin it. But it did last a long time, so there's that. So I'm going to try this out and uh, see what my luck is there. You know, with these paddles, should be should be more grip. Well, I got to tell you, it's not easy task. Uh, <laughs> see all them boogers? I have to cut all these nubs off on the inside of the track, only because you know they can lay flat on the uh, on the ground. So between the clips and uh, the nubs it's taking a little bit of time to do just because uh, well originally I tried using this tool to uh, cut them off that blade's about done but uh, just a lot of smoke created so I found this tool worked the best um, one of these uh, <coughs> I don't even know what you call this tool but it's just a wood tip on there and uh, woo, buzzes them right off so no smoke pretty uh, it, it probably take 15 minutes to take all these nubs off um, it's pretty hard rubber, but anyways, you have to take them off, and just because, you know, it won't sit flat, it'll sit flat, but it's too raised, so I had to get it flatter, and that's why, uh, it's basically on the, on the deck there. So I'm going to try that this winter. So I've seen these, uh, in trailers now and then, but usually when I do see them, sporadically, uh, they're old, really old tracks, you know, like bogey wheel kind of tracks. And really, uh, you know, not today's track. And I haven't seen one in a long time, but I do remember seeing it. And I thought it was a good idea. And because I have a track from my Arctic out there, I'm going to try it out. Like I said, clip that stud mat and try that. So uh, let, me get, let me get this finished and see if I can pull it up there with no problem. Because uh, when there's no snow, you know, when you get carbides that stick, I, bought, I backed the trailer up here, right? As you can see, uh, the uh, cement didn't do very well because it once it gets up on a trailer you know it gets kind of hung up and then the, uh, the track just spins same with mud or ice or whatever you're on so I'm hoping now once you get the skis up on here it'll grab some of these lugs lug on lug and should just pull it right up in there with no spinach no dud, stud damage as you can see you know I don't know if you can see that or not but my room's taking a beating but it is an old trailer, so it's actually not too bad a shape for, for the abuse it gets. But let me finish that up, and then I'll try to pull the sled out on the dirt, see if it works without burning a hole in the, the gravel there. Yeah? yeah? All right, so I'm almost done here. This is the easy part here, just throwing this down. So this project, it cost me literally nothing. This track is repurposed, obviously. Even those uh, lag bolts uh, I got from a friend of mine, a couple of bags. Probably a couple hundred of them. Uh, they always come in handy for something, and 
and I'm not even pre-drilling, I'm just boop, right into the uh, uh, wood. So, so those will rust over time, but because they're pretty meaty, uh, you know, they're only zinc. Um, I don't think they're galvanized, no, I think they're zinc. Um, so over time they'll uh, probably rust, but they're so thick, it's going to probably take longer to rust than this trailer is going to last. I don't even need these, uh, I mean if you if you have an 8 foot trailer just the track alone would work but because it's a 12 foot trailer it drives up in there kind of deep that's why I didn't have enough track but so that's why I use that stud mat just to take up where uh, the front part of the track will be sitting. Alright so I'm almost done here let me get uh, let me get the truck hooked up and see if I can get up in here. Okie dokie. This is either going to go really good or really nasty. It's either going to make it or dig a hole in that uh, gravel, like it always does. Hopefully, uh, I mean, you hit it fast enough, of course it'll go right up, but uh, I'm expecting just to get up there and I'll stop like halfway and then see if I can uh, throttle it up there. We'll see what happens. the snow plowing those are new carbides and uh, just made a mess of things uh, so I had to pick her up and you know get her pointed in the right direction so I think this is it's gonna work out so I tilted the trailer up and uh, I'll start her up if I can pull it forward because uh, it's got to go up a little ways but this is what I was talking about right there see how it's lug on lug or, you know, however you want to call it. There's no way I'm not getting up on an icy track. Yeah, those are just going to grab and uh, pull you right up. Anyways, that's all I got. I think it will work. I don't see why not. Perfect. Thanks for watching.